can women get a hairline surgery? Yes, women can get hairline surgery. I do hairline advancement surgeries very often for women. This is best for people who have a high hairline or a tall forehead and they want to have a shorter forehead. They want to keep the shape of their hairline the same, but they just want a shorter forehead. You can also have hair transplant to your hairline. This works very well in women. This can shape your hairline. You can give you more of an oval shape. This can bring your hairline down. This can make your hairline thicker. You can do almost anything you want to do with hair transplant. Are hair transplants successful in females? Yes. Hair transplants are successful in females. What we are doing is taking hair from where you have it in the back and in the sides and placing it where you want it. The things that you should know doing a hair transplant in a woman is that we are more susceptible to having shock loss or telogen effluvium. So right after the hair transplant, not only the hair that was transplanted can fall out just from the stress of the surgery, but some of the hairs around it can also fall out, making your hair look more thin for a few months, but don't worry, that will come back in three to four months. I've seen this happen in your recipient site. It can also happen in your donor site. So that's something to know upfront that it's not something that's common, but it's something that can happen. We are also transplanting in areas that already have hair for most women. This is areas that are behind your hairline. And so you have to find someone who is used to transplanting in um, women or females, and they are used to transplanting around the hairs that are there. What you don't wanna do is transplant a Across a hair that is existing and just replace one hair follicle for the other one. This is different than in people with male hairlines where it is receded and you're filling it in a space that doesn't have hair follicles, which is actually much easier. So it is a little bit more complicated, um, but it is definitely something that can be successful, can restore your thickness and your um, shape to your hairline. Do women need to shave their hair for a transplant? No, you don't have to shave your hair where the hair is going. If we take the hair by FUE, follicular unit extraction, we do shave the area where the hair is coming from. This is in the back of your hair, um, kind of in the middle where your hair can cover over from the top and the bottom. So you can wear your hair down, you can hear your, wear your hair up in a ponytail or something like that to cover that area. So the place that is shaved is where the hair is coming from on the back or the sides, but you do not have to shave where the hair is going, which is usually in the front where people can see. How long does female hair transplant last? Hair transplant is a relatively permanent procedure. You're taking hair from where you will always have it on the back and the side and moving it to where you want it to go. So as long as you have hair and that hair is thick enough on the back and the side, you will have the hair where you're transplanting it. So that hair will stay, but you do have the potential to lose hairs around it um, if you have other reasons for that hair to be falling out, or thinning, or just simple age. Once you transplant, you do wanna do things that help maintain the hair that you have to keep it as thick as you can, as long as you can. Who isn't suitable for a hair transplant? For women, there are a lot of reasons why we have thinning hair or hair loss. This can be two pages long. This can be hormones, diet, stress, a lot of different reasons. And so if your hair loss isn't typical for a hair loss that is associated with genetics, or if you're just a woman who wants to make sure there is a whole workup we can do with labs, history, um, to make sure that the reason why you're losing your hair is because of simple genetics, because of age, and then you are a good transplant uh, then you are suitable for a hair transplant. If there are other reasons like hormone imbalances, diet imbalances, things like that we can address, you do not want to transplant, but you want to address those things first. Other reasons why you would not want to get a hair transplant is if your hair loss is due to an inflammatory process. There are certain types and patterns of hair loss that would make us suspect that this is inflammatory and those people you don't want to do a hair transplant because the hair transplant will not take well. If this is something we suspect, we will do a biopsy of the hair follicles to see if that's what's going on prior to doing the transplant. And these are all reasons why you should see someone who is a specialist and does um, hair transplant on a routine basis to make sure you're not just doing a transplant into an area that it won't necessarily take well. 
have questions, schedule a consultation at Dr. Angela Sturm today. Thanks for watching.